Hey there, dailies. How's it going, eh? And, well, so today I just want to talk about me, who I am, where I'm from, all that kind of stuff. Now, I've done the Triple S Vita things now. This is the third time around. And some of you already know me because we chat back and forth on a daily basis. And I hope to get to know a lot more of you. This is the great thing about the Triple S Vita. You get to meet more YouTubers and more people and more businesses, more everything, and become friends. And whether it's chatting on the videos or just chatting on Facebook um, or wherever, it's a great thing. It brings us all together and we're all happy and we have fun. And that's what it's all about. When this becomes not fun anymore, I really don't want to do it you know but um, that being said um, as my channel implies the name the Canadian Daily that is who I am the Canadian Daily my real name is Fred and um, I live in Nova Scotia Canada and way out there on the East Coast you've probably heard a lot of stuff about East Coast you may not have heard a lot about East Coast I don't know um, but check out Google it East Coast of Canada, you'll see it. We have parties all the time. and You know, we're, we're party people on the East Coast, you see. A lot of famous people have come from the East Coast. Um, I got a hockey player. Um, there's a hockey player that used to, just lived up the street from me. Uh, Brad Marchand plays for the Boston Bruins. Um, he's from here. And just like I said, his family just lived up the street not too far. And there's other, there's other great movie stars and all that, and they do a lot of filming and all kinds of great stuff happening around here. Anyway, make the long story short, being from Canada, well, it's interesting. Um, it's interesting to a lot of you because we do things a lot different. We're pretty laid back. Some of you might think we have a strange accent. That's okay. I think some of you may have a strange accent, but that's okay. And uh, I just want to get this out of the, well, I just want to get this off my chest and out there. We don't live in igloos, okay? We have normal houses like everybody else. Uh, that's a story for another time, okay? Um, but for some reason, people tend to think, well, hey, you're from Canada. You live in an igloo. Uh, no. But anyway, make the story short. I had an accident a couple years ago. Um, just past a two-year mark um, in which I injured my back um, it took almost a year to get surgery on it I had a disc um, cut out around my spinal cord um, it nicked the nerves in the spinal cord going down my legs um, my left leg right now is still totally useless it's gone I have no feeling in parts of it I have to walk with a stick um, I can't sit, stand, walk, lay down, or do anything more than 15, 10 to 15 minutes at a time. It just drives me crazy. Um, just the pain, okay? So, the doctor, um, you know, the surgeon has basically said, he don't know, he was hoping that it would have grown back um, by the summer, which was last summer, so... Um, this nerve is, uh, he said, was damaged by that disc when he operated on it. So, make the long story short, I'm disabled, I'm home. Um, thank God I have compensation from work. Um, however, you know, uh, life is hard at times, it gets me down, but it's doing these videos and that's why there's sometimes that they're kind of choppy or edited or put together in parts because I can't do a full one in its entirety for any amount of time um, to sit down and do it or stand up or whatever because it just I just can't do it so it's been a struggle to say the least over this past two years um, I got to thank my family for all their help and my friends for their support and all that as well but doing these videos and connecting with all you people and my friends that I have already met in the past year um, through doing these videos has really, really helped me out. It's helped me gain my confidence. It's helped me just be me, I guess you could say. Um, and to work through the pain, 
and the suffering that I go through every day. And um, I don't want to make this a pity party on myself or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to uh, explain to you what has been going on. Um, because um, I know there's been a few people ask me. And I mean, this is like um, the second disc that has um, that had herniated on me. Um, and the first one was like seven, eight years ago. Um, which worked out fine. Um, I did. It did leave me with a little bit of damage, but this one has left me with serious damage to the point that it was so close to being paralyzed um, that it wasn't. You know, it wasn't funny. Um, so um, today I just ordered a new chair to, uh, so I can sit on because I can't sit on the sofa anymore. It's just too low for me, and it really hurts to sit down at any point in time. Even this one is getting to me. Um, this was like a a $200 office chair that I bought at like Staples. Um, it's okay, but it, it doesn't have the lumbar support and the high back neck rest that I require for my body um, and my back. So I ordered a very ergonomic uh, slash support type chair um, that you could sit in for a long period of time. Now I know I won't be able to sit into it for a long period of time, but at least it will give me the comfort and the support that I need in the lumbar part of my back and up as well. Now, coupled with the fact that I have a major back problem, years ago I was diagnosed when I was a teenager with Crohn's disease. Uh, Crohn's disease is nasty in itself. So I have two things going on for me. Chronic pain from Crohn's and now the chronic pain from my back. Um, I also have an ileostomy and if anyone's not familiar with that, that is basically um, where you have a pouch on your side and your bowel comes out and you do your business into that and you have to change that and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that was a result of the Crohn's. It gets really tangled here because my back, um, trying to do all the exercises for the two years in the physio and all that they've been putting me through, it has caused me to have a hernia around my ileostomy. Now I've had this ileostomy for um, like 19 years, never a problem until these past few months um, around um, Christmas time. I was starting to have some trouble and I went to the uh, the GI specialist and he said, I'm thinking you're getting a hernia around it. And I said, well, what could be causing this? And we went through the different things, things and steps that, you know, uh, in my lifestyle and we determined that, hey, and maybe it's that, because I said, you know, I'm doing certain things and twists and ups and downs and whatnot that I have to do for my back in the pool, because I can only do pool exercises. I cannot do gym exercises. The pool is was fantastic because it was weightless. Although it caused a slight tear in my side and has now caused the hernia. So, now I have to wear a hernia belt around that, special custom belt for that. And that is great. Okay, that's helping that out and keeping me together there. <laughs> However, by the end of the day, my back is pretty sore and uh, it's not helping my back muscles any, which, um, you know, I'm supposed to be sort of, you know, getting the physio done and stuff for. So, one thing is interfering with the other. And because of the Crohn's, I cannot take any pain medication or inflammation uh, reducing medication whatsoever uh, because of that um, because I had a major major flare-up when this accident happened uh, they put me on all these painkillers narcotics and all this stuff um, and, you know yeah okay it helped me a little bit for the pain um, but I was zoned out of it I didn't know what the hell I was doing most of the time um, for days and the the pain got I would have rather dealt with the pain a different way than dealing with it with th those pills because they in turn caused me bleeding and all kinds of wonderful stuff. It reactivated my Crohn's which was sort of in a remission. Um, so that is not back to its remission state yet. 
it's getting there, but it's it's taking its time uh, because I was taking off those pills almost, uh, um, you know, about four months or three months after this. No, okay, that happened in March, and it was in August when I was taking off those pills. Um, the GI doctor and the surgeon was like, eh, and he, they were both like, no, you definitely do not take those things anymore. So anyway, that's the story about me. Um, so I cope with it by making these videos, trying to make myself laugh, and if I have make a skit or something like I did the other day on April Fools, that was a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I had a good day while I did that. So I try to do things and have fun. Um, I really want to get out, explore the city. Now this is all based on my good days, of course, and. Um, once the winter rolls away and we get rid of all that yucky snow because it's just too darn hard to get out and do anything right now and explore the city a little bit I have some ideas of what I want to do because um, I, I can I can plan it and I can go direct to this site this site or this site I found a book at the library today which is great I'm going to um, which I'll talk about later down the road, but it's about the city, and it's got some old, old pictures in it of the old city. So I'd like to go back and try to find those sites, if they even still exist. Talk a little bit about them, and give you some history on the city of Halifax, okay? And surrounding areas in Nova Scotia. And who knows, maybe elsewhere. But we'll just see. It all depends on how I feel, and we just go day by day. So... Um, I thank you dailies for listening to me, uh, putting out with me day to day. I'm still going to do my uh, beer reviews, wine um, reviews, which I haven't done any yet of, um, restaurant and food reviews because I'm getting requests for them, as well as lifestyle, more lifestyle type videos. I know uh, Monica, you like those type of videos, so I'll mention you. Uh, Gabby, you like the food and restaurant type videos, so I'll mention you. Uh, and Les likes the beer videos, of course. Uh, so, you know, got to have the beer videos in there, too. And, uh, of course, I will do lots of stuff that's Canadian. I like to show off Canada. So, I'm going to get down to it. So, I'm going to try to get around. Now, I had thought about doing some stuff with a lot of drone shots this summer coming up. I don't know what's going to happen. The new drone laws have come in and basically have ruined it for drone users right across Canada. And I heard today um, from someone that even two commercial users uh, were issued fines for something. So I don't know where it's going in Canada with the drones. I think it's, I really don't know. I just hope that it's not dead in the water. I really, really hope it's not. The other thing is I'm going to do some sports cards videos and stuff like that because I know Jay likes sports cards and I got I can't get at my sports cards right now they're in storage and well I just they're they're in my storage room and I just can't get at them till later on in the spring when stuff gets moved out um, and I get some people to come in and do that for me so that is going to happen Jay I promise you I do have some out here on my desk and I'm looking at them right now they're not really sports cards well they are and they are but you'll you'll see when I do the video for it but in the meantime dailies thank you so much for listening to me it means a lot take care I'll talk to you again and remember like comment and subscribe down below so we can make this channel bigger and you can learn more about Canada.